The mounting fear of shortages in essential supplies created a domino effect of persons rushing to grocery outlets to stockpile items, securing supplies for the elderly and vulnerable during the COVID-19 crisis was addressed by Minister for Social Transformation, Leonard Spidermon Toot. He notes the vulnerable group falls directly under the auspices of Ministry for Social Transformation. We are very concerned about their plight in a situation such as this. Among them, you would well appreciate, are many elderly people who are among the most vulnerable people. We are concerned about them getting supplies, for instance, because you know the panic buying that is going on. They may not have the resources to go out there and to rush and to buy supplies. We want to begin to put things in place to ensure that they are catered for should this pandemic become any worse than it is right now. We want to ensure that um, when it comes to even their care, if they should become afflicted, that the medication that is required and things of that sort that they may not be able to afford, that between the SSDF and my ministry, that we can put measures in place to assist them in one way or another. Furthermore, the MP says he is not opposed to interagency cooperation in times of crisis. He was speaking to concerns surrounding the prison population at Bodily Correctional Facility. While you would appreciate Bodily does not fall under my ministry, it is under Home Affairs, but certainly if we are required to collaborate with any other ministry where it needs be, we will be more than happy to do so. I would believe that the administration of the facility will be very mindful because I think it's on everybody's mind. It is a top priority and top agenda item on, on everybody's program right now, the current situation as it exists. And we all have to you know, take cognizance of the measures that are to be put in place to protect everyone, including the population and the bodily facility or any other facility where people are detained or incarcerated. Montoot says there will be future dialogue with key figures at St. Lucia's Social Development Fund, SSDF, in conjunction with the Permanent Secretary and Heads of Department of the Ministry of Social Transformation. I just want it to be known that we are very mindful of the p potential plight of that population because we recognize that they are truly vulnerable especially in cases such as this. The World Health Organization, WHO, advises standard recommendations to prevent infection spread, including regular hand washing, covering mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing, thoroughly cooking meat and eggs, and avoiding close contact with anyone showing symptoms of respiratory illness, such as coughing and sneezing. Solaj Alfred, HDS News Force.